so hi everyone today we are not talking about any ai model or llm but we are talking about gpus yes you heard it right this time we are comparing two of the best gpus for consumer grade that is nvidia geforce rtx 5090 which was released quite recently alongside nvidia rtx 4090 which is quite mature and a good go for ai so in this particular set of experiments i am running a number of ai experiments to show you the difference between the speeds the acceleration that you can get with the two gpus so if you don't know nvidia rtx 5090 was released a few months back which is on the new architecture introduced by nvidia that is blackwell so assumed that it should be faster for all the ai tasks but that didn't happen so i'll be showing you all the results and in the end we will see who comes out as the winner so very similar to this notebook as you can see gpu name is nvidia geforce rtx 5090 all the experiments remains the same just the gpu has been changed similarly i have a similar notebook where i'm using rtx 4090 all the three experiments that i've done remains the same just the gpu has been changed so let's get started let's try to understand the different experiments that we did and which one performed better so the first experiment was summarizing articles using t5 large so if you don't know t5 is an llm by google which is about 700 million parameters i would say and with this i tried summarizing 100 articles so these are fake articles that i generated don't go on to that but i tried summarizing 100 articles using t5 large using both rtx 5090 and rtx 4090 now let's see the results as you can see summarized 100 articles in 75 seconds by rtx 5019 not that bad now let's look into the performance of rtx 4090 for the same task so everything remains the same nothing has been changed the code is the same the model is same and for this particular performance as you can see it took about 69 seconds rtx 4090 so a boost up of about 5 seconds so here in the first task rtx 5090 lost by 5 seconds i was assuming it to be very fast but later on i read about it and i came to know that why it did happen i will be explaining you everything our second task as you can see was fine tuning distal bird so distal bird is uh, not that huge an llm i was trying to fine tune it on a very small data set that is uh, 7.5k test rows and i am following this particular pipeline for this using transformers as you can see all the parameters remain the same don't go into the codes these are very complicated i don't want to explain it right now but just try to understand that we are trying to train it on 7500 records for five epochs both the gpus now looking at the results as you can see we got a training loss and Training time using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5090 was about 2 minutes. I think 2 minutes 5 seconds as you can see. So for 5 epochs it took about 125 seconds. About 1 epoch was done in 25 seconds using RTX 5090. Now let's look into RTX 4090. As you can see the code remains the same. Everything is same. And once you look into the results, the time is surprisingly about half. So the training time used by NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 was just a mere 60 seconds. So it is about two times faster than RTX 5090. Why did this happen? 5090 is the latest one. 4090 is a downgraded version. But still, 4090 is still the king in the starting two tasks. Now let's move on to the last one where I am trying to use stable diffusion turbo. So in the first attempt we were using an LLM for inferencing. Second we fine tuned it and the third one we are using an image generation model to test out different capabilities. So here is the code as you can see. Stable diffusion pipeline. Again everything remains the same. And for the same prompt I am running it over 100 images. So I wish I generated 100 images images using stable diffusion turbo and the inference time used was about 
350 seconds by nvidia rtx 5590 which is too much i would say it is about six minutes to generate 100 images now let's see what 4090 did so as you can see the code remains the same the prompt also remains the same and here if we go down the time taken was just 170 seconds about three minutes so if you have observed we did three experiments the first one you can still ignore five seconds but in the other two 4090 was leading the charts by a huge margin about two times faster than rtx 5090 though as nvidia has claimed 5090 is the latest one and is about two times faster but here it is the vice versa so why is this happening let me tell you that uh the fastness the latency just does not depend upon the hardware what i read i was also surprised but it also depends upon the optimization of the libraries being used so though we have the latest hardware but the libraries that are getting used be it diffusers transformers or torch accelerate might not still be up to the mark with 5090. So one thing that I observed when I was running this experiment was that RTX 5090 requires the latest libraries, be it Torch, Torch Vision, Diffusers, etc. Apart from that, not all Torch versions support the last two. That is Hopper 120 and Compute 120, SM100 also. So because of that, though it requires the latest libraries, the latest libraries are not still optimized for RTX 5090. Though RTX 5090 would be a great choice for gaming, but still for AI related tasks, it may be the case that RTX 4090 should be your go-to solution because all the libraries are optimized for that, still not for 5090. It might be the case that in the coming months, it might the library might get updated or optimized for 5090, but for now, 5090 for AI tasks look very slow compared to 4090 and you can easily ignore it now before we end up our presentation let's have a basic understanding of how it works so on the ground if we leave about ai rtx 5090 any day is better than 4090 as you can see looking at the design size size wise also it is smaller and a better fit Apart from that architecture, we all know Blackwell architecture is introduced, which is providing 104.8 teraflops. This is very high. And for gaming and rendering, it is about 30 times faster. But no one has given any benchmarks around AI, what I saw. And when I'm reading, going through the experiments, you already saw that RTX 4090 is about two times faster in on two of the tasks. So it is way faster. The libraries are more optimized for 4090 compared to 5090. I also understand this because uh, it takes time for updating everything. That is why you saw that in diffusers, the time taken was way higher as compared to when using transformers pipeline in the first go. We were trying to summarize. Hence, diffuser requires more optimization as compared to the transformers pipeline. Apart from that, as you can see, this is the summary of the results that we did. Summarize 100 articles using t5 large so here rtx 4091 fine tuning distal bird for 5 epoch 7.5k records here also 4091 but by a huge margin as you can see 60 seconds and 125 seconds and in case of generate 100 images using stable diffusion turbo here also the margin was quite high rtx 4090 was two times faster as compared to 5090 so with this it's a wrap I assume that now it would be quite clear to you which GPU is state of the art for consumer grade AI. It's RTX 4090 still. The libraries are still not optimized for RTX 5090 and you can ignore it for now. After six months or one year, I think you can go for it. Thank you so much.